Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the transformer principle of operation. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. Link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic. So the transformer is a device which is used to transfer electric power from one circuit to another circuit with with change in voltage and current without change in the frequency it is a static device so the transformer is nothing but transferring the power from one circuit to another circuit by changing the voltage and current but there is no change in the frequency it is also a static device dc motor generator is a rotating device this one is coming under the static device the, it work on the principle of mutual inductance between two inductively coupled coil. The important parameter is the mutual inductance between the two coils. Now we will see the diagram. So here the iron core is available. So the iron core is available. It is a laminated iron core. Thin sheet like a paper thin sheets are available. N number of sheets are compressed together. So these are all the thin sheets are compressed together and also it is laminated there is no contact between one and, and between the core it's a fully laminated iron core over which we have the coils are winded there is two different windings available primary winding and secondary winding there is a mutual inductance that happen between this primary and secondary winding so this is the primary winding this one secondary winding this n1 and n2 is nothing but the number of turns available in primary winding n1 is the number of turns available in the primary winding n2 is the number of turns available in secondary winding for the primary winding the ac supply is given for the secondary winding the load is connected there is no contact between primary and secondary winding it is connected only through the mutual inductance right now we'll see that so the ac supply is given to the primary winding what will happen the current alternating current will flowing through the primary winding due to alternating current the flux is produced in the primary winding so that is nothing but these dotted lines so due to the square iron core the flux also flowing in a follow flows the safe of the iron core it is flowing in a entire iron core so this dotted line is nothing but the flux so this flux link with the secondary winding so due to the flux linking in the secondary winding this is a rate of change of flux because current the voltage is alternating the so current also alternating flux produced also alternating due to rate of change of flux emf is induced in the secondary winding right so so for so there is a mutually induced emf will occur in the secondary winding supply ac supply is given alternating current is flowing due to alternating current alternating flux is produced the flux is linked with the secondary winding the flux link with the secondary winding is rate of change of flux due to that emf is induced in the secondary winding so there is a mutual inductance between primary and secondary winding i will see the description it consists of two windings the coil to which the supply is given as a primary winding the coil to which load is connected is called the secondary winding right the load is connected where we are connecting the load is the secondary winding where the supply is given is the primary winding there is a mutual inductance between this primary winding and secondary winding when supply is given to the primary winding an alternating current flows in the primary winding and the supply is given the due to the closed circuit alternating current is flowing in the primary winding so it produces alternating flux due to alternating current alternating flux is produced which links the secondary winding that flux link with the secondary winding through the iron core it will flow the flow through the iron iron core path and link with the secondary winding since the flux is alternating according to faraday's law of electromagnetic induction and emf is induced developed in the secondary winding the flux link with the secondary winding is alternating in nature so due to rate of change of flux 
the emf is induced in the secondary winding based on the faraday's law of electromagnetic induction so this is the basic principle of the transformer subscribe the channel for more videos and notification soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box thank you for listening